This is how to answer the interview question, what is your expected salary? Or what are your salary expectations? Now, a lot of people online will tell you not to talk about compensation and salary really early on in the process. And they're gonna advise you to defer this conversation towards later on after you've gathered more information about the role and you've completed your interviews. But I actually think that you should talk about compensation as early as possible in the interview process because you don't wanna waste your time. Sometimes interviews can take four to five hours total, plus all the time you need to study and prepare for each of them and you don't want to waste your time because you may get to the end of the interview process and find out that their salary is less than what you make today and you're never going to take this job. And companies may ask you either in an interview, what is your expected salary? Or you may see this question on one of the online forms after you've completed an online application. Now, the good news is if you live in any of the states that are shown right here, it means that it is now illegal for employers and recruiters to ask you what your current compensation and salary is today. And they are also legally required to share the base salary range with you upon request. So what that basically means is if you live or work in any of the states that are on this website, when someone asks you, what is your expected salary, you can simply turn the question around and ask them what is the base salary range in which they are offering. And then based on the numbers that they give you, you can say that that's within your range or it's a little too low. Now as a pro tip, I recommend that you also ask them to explain their entire compensation package and how it works. Because some companies also offer an annual cash bonus. They may also offer stocks. So that could be in restricted stock units or stock options. And so having them explain to you how their total compensation package works is going to be really important. Especially if you're trying to get a job in tech. Because a lot a lot of tech companies tend to have slightly lower base salaries, but they make up for that by giving you stocks. And so sometimes just because a base salary may be a little bit lower than what you want, the total compensation package when you factor in the bonuses and the stocks that you get may actually be more money than what you had originally wanted. And if you're not sure about stock options and RSUs and how all these different things work, I did make a separate video explaining all these different terms and what you need to be aware of when you're trying to figure out your total compensation and how you should get paid. Okay, so far, basically, if you live in any of the states where the pay transparency law, when they ask you what is your expected salary or your salary expectations, you basically just ask them for the range and let them know if that's okay. But what do you do if you don't live in one of these states with the pay transparency law? Well, most people will tell you to say something kind of similar to my expected salary. Well, before I answer that question, I'd first like to actually learn more about the role and the team to make sure that it's a good fit for everybody. And then if it's okay, can we circle back to this conversation later on? Wrong. The role has nothing to do with what you actually want want to be paid because you don't want to take a new job unless you're going to make more money, right? So if they aren't going to share some type of salary range with you, what you should do as a minimum starting point is take your current salary and then add 15 or 20% on top of that and then say that that's the minimum expectation that you have. And it's totally fine for you to share a salary range as long as that minimum number is your base salary plus 15 or 20%. Now, if you're willing to take a pay cut because it's your dream company or you're switching careers and it's gonna give you an opportunity to build a skill set and build up your resume or you just don't mind wasting four to five hours of your time with interviews, then you don't need to share a range at all. And for those of you who are trying to re-enter the workforce after a really long time off, or if you've been laid off for a while and you're struggling to find a job and you have no other options, then you probably don't want to give a range either because you want to give yourself the best opportunity to land this role. All right, so now you know how to answer the interview question, what is your expected salary? Whether you are in a state with pay transparency laws or a state without. And if you want more interview help, make sure you click subscribe down below and put in the comment, what other interview videos do you want to see? Because I want to help you out as much as possible. Thank you all for watching and don't be afraid to shake things up.